Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic, identifying chord sequence and tangents of a circle. So we have a circle below O in this, the center. VQ is a diameter, so it's cutting straight across there. PS intersects the circle at Q, so here just barely hits there at Q. And the line UR intersects at Q and T, so it's cutting across the Q and T. Use the information to fill in the blank. So um, we're going to try and identify one of each of these, and um, sometimes you'll have more than one option, and that's okay. Um, but we're going to go through here and see what we get. So we want a tangent line. So we want a line that hits our circle exactly once. And the only time that happens is this line here. So the tangent line I'm looking for for part A is line, don't forget your notation there, PS or SP. Okay. B, I want a secant line. So that's a line that cuts through our circle but hits twice. So it's a tangent line that hits twice. So tangents hit once, secants hit twice. So I'm just going to go with this one because it's already there. So I have line UR because it hits a Q and T as opposed to P, uh, SP that only hits at Q. A chord is um, a line that goes through and hits the circle twice. So, um, but it has to hit the outside of the circle twice. So notice OT here is a radius because it goes from the center to the outside. I need one that goes from the outside to the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one since it's usually the one they look for. Technically your diameter still works, but since this one's not a diameter, it's more likely to be the one they intended. So I'm going to go with QW. Notice this one is a line segment. It stops, um, so you don't want to put the arrowheads when your symbol there. 